my dear students and friends welcome to eloquent english classes and this is jyoti dear students we have been learning parts of speech today we shall learn the last part of speech that is interjection in our previous videos we have learned about noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition and conjunction and today we shall learn interjection so let's get started what is interjection interjection is a word that shows certain emotions or feelings of a person it shows certain feelings or emotions of a person now words like hello hurra alas ah what wow oops hush these are used to express feelings let's learn their correct uses hurra it is used to express joy when we are very happy very jubilant or whenever we are in a very uh, happy mood we use hurra hurra we have won the battle isn't it winning a battle is an extraordinary task isn't it extraordinary achievement so we use hurra to express our joy hurra our college won the trophy and that is also an achievement a great achievement so we use hurra then alas alas is an expression of grief okay whenever we are very upset very sad we use alas or whenever we have to express something which is pertaining to grief we use alas alas the poor victim alas the grandmother is no more alas what will the poor children do now something has happened in the family some tragedy has taken place in the family so what will the children do now and this expresses sudden grief isn't it so we use alas oh it is an expression of fear or surprise oh i got so much scared oh are you the superstar oh are you the superstar oh i got so much scared see the expression the word is same expression is different so we use o for expressing fear or surprise all right next one is a ah. a ah is used to express surprise cry of surprise or pity a ah. have they gone surprise isn't it then pity ah oh, the poor lady suffered a lot now this is an expression of pity that the poor lady suffered a lot now have you noticed something about these uh, expressions or these interjections they are not grammatically connected with the rest of the sentence isn't it like take this o oh, sign of exclamation is there i got so much scared now i got so much scared is complete in itself isn't it 
and O is not connected with the rest of the sentence. And second thing, we put sign of exclamation after the interjection, isn't it? So first thing, it's not grammatically connected with the rest of the sentence. Second, we put sign of exclamation after the expression or after the interjection. Clear? Now, the next one is Ouch! It's an expression of sudden pain. Ouch! It hurts. Whenever something hurts, you express like this. Ouch! It hurts. Ouch! I fell and brushed my leg. Chot laggi. Leg me. Isn't it? Then you express yourself like this. So it is an expression of certain pain. You. You is emotion of dislike. You. It tastes bitter. You. It is so dirty place. So we use you for expressing our disliking for something. When we dislike something, we use you. Wow. Wow is an expression of wonder or admiration. Wonder, you know, surprise and admiration means to praise something, to admire something, to appreciate something. Wow, what a picturesque view, isn't it? We are one we are wondering and we are surprised as well as we are admiring the view, isn't it? Wow, what a lovely dress. So we are admiring a lovely dress. Here. So this is the expression. Now hush. Hush is used to express silence. Hush. Don't disturb the baby. Hush. Don't make a noise. Okay. So we use hush for that. To express silence. Arc. This is an expression of frustration. You are frustrated. Then you use arc. Arc. He is incorrigible. Incorrigible means he cannot be mended. He cannot improve. He will not mend his ways, change his ways. He will be the way he is. Bilkulli sudrega. Then we say incorrigible. Ark. He is a stubborn. What he tell So we use ark. Okay. Oops. It's an expression of realization. When we realize something, then we use oops. Oops, I forgot my mobile in the shop. Oops, I left my pencil box at home. We use oops. To, when we realize something, we use oops. So today we have completed our all eight parts of speech. Do watch the previous videos on all the parts of speech and master them. Okay. Watch the videos till the end for clarity of the concept. This is very important to master these parts of speech. Without mastering these parts of speech, you cannot think of learning anything. These are the basics. Okay. These, this is, you can say, the foundation or the basic thing which everyone must know. Okay. So, we shall learn many more things in our upcoming videos okay 
we shall be doing tenses also so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel okay thank you very much